Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns. As you can see, we're here at the file select screen, and we are checking out our game three that we've been playing on here. Um, we've just beaten 8B, and we have all of the Kong letters, that's what that little star over there on the right means. But, as you can see, we're only at 98%, even though we've beaten the game. That's not because we missed something, that's because there's actually still something left to do. So let's go ahead and start up our file here, and see what is there. Now, as you may remember, after we defeated Tiki Tong in the last part, we got a little message that told us the Golden Temple has been revealed, and there was also a nice little scene for it. So what we're going to do here is head to the right, and as you can see, we have unlocked the ninth world, Golden Temple. And, of course, this world is straightforward. There's no room for more than one level here, just 9-1 Golden Temple. So we're going to go to it, but uh, actually you'll find out that there's a, a pretty hefty uh, requirement in order to actually unlock the meat of this level. So... Let's get here and check it out. As you can see, um, there's an exit sign over to our left, so whenever we go and check it out, um, that's basically just there to, uh, if you went up there and discovered that you hadn't actually unlocked the level yet, you would be able to exit that way. Of course, you could also just press start and go to quit level, but, I mean, I guess they didn't figure you know that, but whatever. So let's head on up these golden stairs and see what awaits us at the top. So we examine this thing, and all of the little orbs that we have collected throughout our adventures are going to fill in this faceplate. Once all of it is filled up, it's going to move aside and unlock the temple itself. So basically, in order to unlock this, you need to have gotten all of the Kong letters and unlocked all of the K levels, and then subsequently beaten the K levels. You don't have to get 100% or anything, you just need to have beaten them to get those orbs. But since we have done that, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so we step in, eat the golden banana, and are somehow teleported here, wherever this is. So we're up in the clouds, apparently. I didn't know a place like this existed up there, but, well, that, that's pretty cool to know, I guess. And we're going to have to make our way along these uh, floating fruit platforms, pretty much. Um, so this is 9-1, really, and uh, we're going to be encountering some new enemies, actually. As you can see, that guy up there at the top right is going to shoot that little projectile at us. Um, basically, he just shoots wherever you are, so it's pretty easy to avoid, and it goes pretty slow as well. But also, you can see there's a vase at the bottom. If we pound on that, we get puzzle piece number one. Yes, we're going to have to collect five puzzle pieces in here in order to finish out 100%, so keep that in mind. All right, now as we make our way across, we can avoid this guy just by ducking. The strawberry is moving for us, so we don't have to avoid it ourselves. Now let's avoid this guy's shot. And as you can see here, we're introduced to another new enemy, which is quite unique. It's a uh, purple koala bear with a black tie and some sort of helicopter thing as a bottom half. I don't know. But anyway, in order to defeat him, you want to just grab the bomb and throw it back. One hit does it, so, you know, it's really not too big of a deal. All right, now as we head over to the right, we're going to see another one of these shooter guys, so let's just make sure to avoid a shot before jumping on the blueberry and the banana. Um, yeah, if you stay on these blueberries for a little bit, they kind of, you know, fall, so... And they don't sink all the way down or anything, but it can make your platforming a little bit harder if you have to stay on them for any length of time, so it's probably not a good idea, too. Now, here you can see there are a bunch of bananas on the blueberries, so we're going to have to jump across and grab these. Of course, along the way, we're going to get shot at a little bit, but I kind of like to just go to the end and then avoid everyone's shots here. And it makes it a lot easier than trying to do it on the blueberries. Now we're going to make our way back across, grab these bananas, and then finally the puzzle piece that appears on the strawberry, which is number two. So now we jump across these one more time. This isn't comfortable, by the way. They're, they're definitely not very safe jumps, but um, if you've made it to this point, I think you're probably good enough to be able to handle it. All right, so now we're going to have a couple of koala bears here. It doesn't really make things any harder. Just grab the bombs and throw them back. You know, it goes pretty simply. Then here, if you've gotten hit, there's a heart in that vase, which can be very, very helpful, especially if you're really trying to keep Diddy, which you really should because he makes this level a lot better, as you can probably imagine. So here we're going to grab all the bananas that are going around in circles um, on this big banana. We're collecting bananas on a banana, 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 banana. Well, let's go ahead and finish these up. And as you can see, a puzzle piece will appear. Jump up here to grab it. That's number three. 
Now, these cherry platforms are going to explode whenever you stand on them, so obviously don't be on them when they explode. And uh, don't try to go back either, because they won't still be there. Now, with this jump, if you can actually do this right, um, you can get two lives out of it. Just like that, so <laughs> just make sure to avoid the guy's shot at the end. You don't want to get hit there needlessly, especially when you don't even need the life at all. So now we've got some more of these cherry platforms. These are moving pretty quickly, so make sure you're confident of where you're going to land before you uh, actually do. Now we've got these strawberry platforms, and as you can see, banana bunches are dropping on them. Um, we're going to have to avoid a few shots here, and I got hit by that one. Those can be really hard to avoid, but um, you want to stay on these strawberries and get these banana bunches. Um, there's just one more to collect over there on the right once we do that. The puzzle piece will drop in the middle. Grab it. That's number four. All right, so we're going to have some more koalas here to deal with, so let's let this guy throw one at us. Throw it back. Another one's going to show up here. Throw it back. These guys are really pretty easy to deal with. They, they seem kind of intimidating, but it's really not that big of a deal. Alright, so now we got an upside-down banana, and we're going to have to avoid a couple shots here. Not too hard, just jump over these two and then move out of the way for that one. I probably could have just stood there and been fine. Um, so now we're going to have to make our way across these platforms while avoiding the falling oranges. Again, much like uh, some of the ones I think in World 6, maybe. Um, you can tell when they're about to fall by the things falling from the uh, ceiling there, so... Just make sure you're watching out for that before you jump. Cool, man. It always feels like I'm about to hit them even when I'm just standing on the platform. Alright, so now we've got these bananas to make our way across, and of course I got hit. Go, go, go. Grab the puzzle piece. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay. Well, that's fine. At least I made it across. I thought I was going to die there for a minute, but grab it, and then make our way into the barrel. Then once you finish that, you're pretty much done with the level, but there's one cool little thing we need to do. Jump in the barrel and mash A. Keep going around in a circle, and then eventually this will pop up and give us our exit barrel with something interesting in it. So let's hit it, and then see what we've got. Looks like some sort of uh, banana mirror, if you ask me. There you go. So we've beaten 9-1, and of course gotten all five puzzle pieces. So now that we've done that, that officially marks 100%. We'll confirm that in a little bit. But let's continue here, and the game's going to tell us what we got. We can now play any level in mirror mode. In this mode, Donkey Kong does not receive any help from his pal Diddy Kong, and cannot use inventory items to make it even more challenging. He only has one heart. So not using inventory items really isn't that big of a deal, because we didn't do that anyway. But um, not being able to use Diddy Kong and not being able to get hit are really, really hard. So um, basically, unlocking mirror mode now really gives you a chance to uh, go through the game once again. And basically, that's how you would get to 200% completion. We're going to go ahead and back out here so we can look at our uh, save file. And uh, like I said, mirror mode is really, really hard, so um, <laughs> I can go ahead and say right now I'm not going to be recording it, but um, I'm pretty much just doing this for 100%. But once we go down to game three, you can see we've now reached 100%. We've gotten that little uh, puzzle piece icon, and a fourth circle has been added. Um, the third one we're actually not going to fill up because that is for time trial or time attack mode or whatever it's called. That's not required for 100%. I'm not going to do it. It's really something completely different, so uh, we're just going to leave it be. And the fourth one is now for mirror mode, and as you can see, with game one, I have completed that on mirror mode. That will give you 200%. Um, you don't have to collect puzzle pieces again, but you do need to complete each of the worlds, so um, that can be really hard in and of itself. And like I said, I'm not going to be recording that. I'm pretty much just going to stop here with 100%. So. All right, and that's pretty much going to do it. We've reached 100%, which means we have reached our goal and the end of this LP. Now, we have unlocked a bunch of extras, um, just like little images and audio things, and like we can play each of the background musics and some dioramas, which are kind of neat, actually. So I think I'm going to do just one more episode, and we'll kind of look through those and just kind of see what we unlocked, you know, because we have to feel like we got all those puzzle pieces for something other than just a number. But <laughs> all right, so yeah, next time we're going to check out the extras. It'll be a pretty laid-back episode, but that's literally all there is left to do. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.